After seeing the live action Attack on Titan Part 1, I wasn't sure if I even wanted to continue to the second part. Ah! IGN's review called Part 1 a poor adaptation that butchers its story, and Part 2 isn't much better. Its characters are flatter alive than they are when crushed by titans, and antagonist motives are all but non-existent. Part 2 does deliver on the titan front, as well as some story, but I found myself wanting to read the manga instead for a not-butchered version of that story. Part 2 carries on with Part 1's altered storyline, which isn't a great start. There's some stuff about a government conspiracy, plus a Titan Apocalypse history lesson, and all of it could have been cool if it had been done well. Instead, the bad guys are cartoonishly bad, constantly exuding weird bravado and swagger. Their motives are really unclear, but not in a cool, mysterious way, and plot twists were disappointing and empty. The rest of the characters don't work well either. The comic relief ones come off as excessively awkward instead of funny, and the main characters are bland. Mikasa is a skilled, strong-willed main character in the source material, but she's insufferably pouty and reduced to the object of a love triangle in the movie. She always looks how being 13 feels, as opposed to looking haunted by death and battle. Aaron, the main protagonist, isn't so bad, but most of the other characters were underdeveloped and nondescript. When they inevitably died at the hands and teeth of Titans, I didn't even have a chance to care. The Titans themselves are incredibly creepy. Even though I wasn't invested in character deaths, I was wincing a lot. The awful squish of blood underfoot, the crunch of bones and teeth, and the chilling howls of Titans were all the kind of disturbing I want from Attack on Titan. There's also some relatively cool Titan vs. Titan fighting, but it's dampened a bit by helpless soldiers standing around and watching. Attack on Titan Part 2 does nothing to save its terrible first part. If the story is somewhat interesting, it's ruined by awful, flat characters and weak justifications for their actions. Cool Titan fighting is marred by characters' blank stares and glaring in action, and the world building is sadly limited. At least, the Titans are cool. For more on Attack on Titan, you're in the right place. IGN.